today I'm going to make a work table for the watchman's den and I cut out these pieces you see right here in a uh, wood that is two millimeter thick. These are the side panels for the part where I want my three drawers to be and I'm going to mark the two centimeters from the top and the four centimeters and I'm going to make a line I'm going to cut these matches into five centimeters and I'm making five of these for this little furniture. The four of them I'm going to glue just right above the line that I made before. Then I glue the two sides on the bottom piece and I'm going to leave it to dry in my glue jig that I made myself. I will leave a link in the info box below for this glue jig. Then I glue the tabletop and the third leg together and again I used my glue jig to hold it together. I took the last toothpick and I glued that into the corner of this connection. I made three drawers, two of them I made like this and the last one I did not put in the back side. This is the front of the drawers that I have here, it's still in one piece and I'm going to make a light switch in the lower drawer so I take this thing that I 3D printed and I make sure to mark on the door where I want the hole for this little switch. I used my X-Acto blade to cut out this little hole, it took quite a while but I kept working on it and eventually I got this little hole made. I sanded it and made sure it had the right size for my little switch. Then I glued the part for the drawers onto the tabletop. So here is all the parts that I need. The architecture lamp that you see is one I designed in Fusion 360 and printed on my resin printer. Then I glued the draw with no end part onto this front plate for the drawers that I still didn't cut into three pieces yet. 
I made sure that the glue was all hardened before I continued working on this piece. I then measured where to cut the draw so it was one piece for itself and then I'm using my exacto knife to cut it over and again I'm using a lot of patience to do this. I made the next two draws the same way. I did paint my architecture lamp and it is ready now, so I'm just going to cut off the foot of it and put it into a hole that I pre-drilled in the tabletop where I want this uh, lamp. Later when I installed the table in the room, I had to take off the lamp and place it on the window seal instead of in the tabletop, because it wasn't fitting under the window seal with the lamp where I placed it. I placed this little box with the electricity in the drawer so I could turn it on and off without opening it. I have a video where I show how I make this electricity and the little box for it. I will link for that in the info box below and at the end of this video. I use my dark brown soft pastels. To make this tabletop look like it has been worn and used for a lot of years. I'm also doing this on the drawers. I'm really not good at aging things, but I'm trying. I made some handles out of polymer clay and I'm going to glue them on right now. I did not show you how I made these handles because I think that's up to you what you like to do and how you want to make them. Then I went back with my soft pastels and I'm just going to age it a bit more on the tabletop and around the handles on the drawers. On eBay I found a place where I could get a lot of these small gears for wrist watches and they were not that expensive and I'm going to glue a few of these on the tabletop as if the watchmaker is working on something. I hope you liked my video, if you did give it a like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and happy crafting!